kissed orange. And the Tars wearing the home whites. We have a great crowd filtering in here at Barker Family Stadium. Glad you could join us here on the Simple Thought Productions, Rollins College Tar Sports Network, and NCAA.com production. Let's light the fires and smoke the tires. NCAA Championship Soccer coming your way. Tars now take it. Here is Nick Sowers on the right side. Lumps it up as uh, both these teams are known for their defense. Camille Baker leading the nation in goals against average. The Tars freshman net miner, but on the other side, play Division I championship as Keneal Baker is going to get his first action of the day. Baker rolled the sleeves up today, showing off the guns in his sunburst yellow jersey. And Dwight Howard with a big kick. Now New gets it back to Sowers. Sowers has some space, even get a crack in here. Leaves up the left to Nike. Nike shot is saved and a rebound, and it's going to be covered up by Garcia. A big, big play there for the Tars, but Garcia comes up huge. Here, these last three games, a yellow has to be really wanted. And that's why, Mike, that's why I wanted to have a referee's meeting. The last game we played, the referee And now there was no booking. He was not booked, correct? Okay. No, he was not booked. I wanted to say that, and I didn't get it. And here we go. Here's Boone. Puts it in, and it's in the box, and a goal for the Tars. Boone puts it in to Chase Nankin, and Nankin gives the Tars a 1-0 lead. When they score first. Nankin, the leading goal scorer. That's goal number seven for him, and his 20th point to lead the way for the Tars. And the ball now. I mean, knocked around, and it's still getting through, and finally, there's... Clifford ball sent in the box and across. It's going to be stopped by Bittinger and it's going to go for a corner kick for the Lakers. So Lakers with an opportunity here. Looks like number 25, Kevin Rodriguez, the freshman from Duluth, Jordan. A good look at it. Is they're going to test the freshman goalkeeper early and often. Baker did not get all of that one. And a ball in the air and now headed backwards by Adam New to Nick Sowers. Gets it around Bevin. Oh, Bevin sticks his foot out there and is able to stop it. Here's New. Out to Sowers on the right side. Some space to try to get across into New. And New's clip just goes wide to the left. Couldn't quite gather it up in rhythm. And it's going to go to the left for Adam New. And back to the action here again. And now put through by the Lakers, and the Tars are able to be strong on D now. Have a uh, bevy of subs getting ready to check in here. However, to Phillips. To the back line, and Nielsen. Sean Malekny getting ready to check in here, the youngster, Winter Park native. Seminole County Winter Park, like where I'm from. Here's Welch. He's going to send a clip in, a high bouncer, and it goes off of Garcia's chest. Dangerous ball as uh, the very well-worn turf here at Barker Family Stadium, K. Hall Sandspur Field. You can get an odd hop, everyone. Ball now clip forward here as we're getting down to 20 seconds to go. Here is Bittinger, now to Malechnia. Sean Malechnia now holds on to it, 13 seconds. As we get ready for the countdown. Here's a Bisbee now as he tries to clip forward over to Welch. Welch holds on. Now here's Malechnia. Malechnia is going to try to take clip forward, and there is Garcia off the post. Sean Malechnia. Garcia put his hands up, but it goes off the post, and we are now at the half in this quarterfinal. Or as the uh, defense trying to stay strong here against the Lakers. And we're going to have a throw in for Boniface. 
Gets it up to the left side to uh, Lulik. Now back over to the left side. 33 minutes remain in the contest. And they're going to have a shot and a goal off a loose ball field, field clearance there. And we're going to tie it up. Back to it here. 28, oh, 28, 30 now remaining. And now play on. Here's Sowers on the left side trying to find some space. Gets a shot in. Goes up and over the head of Garcia. And then it's a goal by Chase Nankin. Sowers with the assist. Goes up and over. And in front. Uh, getting closer to crunch time here. Swung around the right. Here is Garcia. Play all the way backwards now. And now swing around the left. And now here's Chase Nyken. He's going to go for the hat trick here. The wide open. He's going to get across it and a clip shot to Welch. And it goes just high for Brad Welch. As Nyken played a beautiful ball to the right side, Welch had a... Rollins trying to pin the Lakers in the corner and doing just that. Ball clipped out onto the road. And throw in quickly. Is that one maybe gone forever? Is it Kareen's down Park Avenue? And now back to the action on the field here as we're entering crunch time. It's going to start to heat up here in this last 12 minutes. Here's Phillips, Matty Phillips. On the right side, gets a cross in and a header and an equalizing goal by Pugh on Matty Phillips with a picture-perfect serve in. And Pugh with the header knocks it into the right side past Keneal Baker. And we're locked up at two goals apiece here. 11-15. So we're locked up. Two goals apiece. 2.09 remains. And it will be Bauclay on the ground here. Gets ready to put one in here is Bauclay, 209. And Bauclay lays it in. Tries to get it to New. New heads it forward, and that's going to be just poked out by Garcia and a corner kick for Rollins. Great play by Adam New. We're at 157. Zoronsky watches it as well. Rollins has to be careful of the counterattack here. Zoronsky stands on it. Nikon stands over top of it as well. Let's see if they can just whip it in here. Here's Zoronsky, runs over it. Nikon's going to play it short, plays up the right side to Sauer. Sauer's on the right side, takes a cross in, and it is a team save. Adam New had a crack at it. Garcia was out there, but a team save by the Lakers. Is it a cross? And kicked out by the Lakers. So here go the Lakers on the corner attack. 6.33 remaining in this overtime period. Popped up over by Josh Jacerek. Heads up, Josh. You hear me, Josh? There's the wave. You can almost see his glowing smile. Now back to the action on the field. Over to Nikon. Nikon now. A couple of crosses in over to Sauer. Sauer's going to take a shot, and it's saved by Garcia. victory, but instead we're going to have a free kick from a hair outside of the box. We're going to guess just a few inches here. We uh, don't have the great angle from right here, but it will be. Looks like Kevin Boone's going to serve this one in. Close quarters down here in the corner as the crowd rises to their feet. 1,500 strong here at Parker Family Stadium at KL Sandsburg Field. Tars get the run together. Boone lays one in. A shot and a goal off the head of Chase Nyken. And the Rollins College Tars advance to the first Final Four in program history. The Tars win by a score of 3-2 to two in double overtime.